Bowman here from BW1.com and the Galaxy Nexus is official. Let's talk about it. So I'm going to try to make this wrap up real quick here. If you can't tell, I'm a little under the weather. So uh, I'm going to try and give you guys a quick specs here. I have my um, laptop here in front of me. Uh, just in case I forget some of the specs here. But let's start off with the 4.65 inch HD Super AMOLED display. It's going to be a gorgeous display with 1280 by 720p resolution. It's going to have a 1.2 gigahertz TIO BAP dual core processor on it as well. So it's going to have enough power, power to pump there for you. It's going to have a rear 5 megapixel camera with LED flash and continuous shot support and zero shutter lag as well too. So you can be able to snap that shot really quickly and get to the next one. And you got continuous shot support there as well too. Hopefully that sense is really good inside of that camera. I know 5 megapixels is lower than 8, but it's not all, all about the megapixels, it's about the sensor. So if the sensor is good, we should see um, some really good shots coming out of there. It also supports 1080p HD video capture as well too, so hopefully the audio matches with the video and you get nice and pro quality. Samsung's usually good with that stuff, so hopefully we'll get some good quality out of that too. It has a front, uh, front facing camera, 1.3 megapixels for uh, video chat. It's gonna have uh, one gigabyte of RAM. It's gonna have uh, options of 16 or 32 gigabyte storage. It's gonna have NFC on it as well too, so you can be able to use a uh, Google Wallet. And just be able to pay for stuff just with your phone, just by hovering your phone over the center. You're gonna pay for it just instantly, just like that. It's also going to have support for HSPA Plus and also LTE. So it's going to be 4G on either side of there, you know, 4G, HSPA, what they call 4G, and what we're really saying is 4G, which is LTE, which is a lot of what we consider real uh, 4G here in America. So it's going to be support that. It's going to depend on the region. It's going to worldwide launch in November. It's going to have uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, all those sorts of things as well, too. And it's going to have uh, Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich, the latest version, which is supposed to sort of take uh, Android 2X and Android 3X and just kind of put them together here into sort of one merge thing. And it's pretty much what they've done with Android 4.0 with some cool updates to a lot of um, applications, a lot of core applications, updates to the phone application. They have this new People app as well, too, which they both kind of take a cue sort of from... Uh, Windows Phone sort of people tile there, especially with the People's app. And the phone app now includes uh, built-in visual voicemail, which is also really nice as well. They have a redesigned Gmail application, which um, should be a lot more useful. Search for us to use Gmail, they'll do with a lot of cool features I saw on that that make the application even more useful. They've improved the calendar application as well too. All sorts of great improvements inside of it as well. And they also had this cool thing, so this face, uh, face unlock feature. Didn't work during the demo, but basically the phone can recognize your face and unlock the phone. And if it sees another face, it won't be you won't be able to unlock the phone. So you kind of get the idea there. So that's a quick summary of everything that comes inside the Galaxy Nexus. Like I said, it's going to be launching worldwide and starting in November. Not sure on carriers or pricing just yet here for the U.S., but I want to know what your guys' thoughts are on that. Are you going to get the Galaxy Nexus? Is it everything that you, you thought it would be? Is it lacking some things that you wish it would have? Anything like that, just post your thoughts and comments below. And this is Bowman here for BW1.com. Reminding you, subscribe to our YouTube page. Follow us on Twitter, become a fan of our Facebook fan page. Also check out the full write-up and um, everything else, the link to that and all social media is in the description. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.